there was a recent update with Archer, which is Shift E, and then if you guys use his ability, now it auto casts the Sunfall. So it would look something like this. Just like that. Next, we have Spear of Sylvia that changed recently, which used to be a lot of AoE damage around Archer, but now it's a range attack. And so if you guys use Shift Q, it has some animation, something like this. It also has an all evasion rate of minus 9%, so that's really, really good to add on your combos. And also, there's a quick cast. For example, if you use double tap and then hold Q, we can use Spear of Sylvia just like that instead of just pressing Shift Q. So, so for example, my double tap is number two. So if you press number two and then just hold Q, and then boom, just like that, it uses that on the second skill. Another way of using the skill is using the Mark Bloom, which is down Q. And so down Q and then hold Q. That's another way of using that skill right there. This is the reason why I recommend you guys using double tap on the hotkey is because if you lock the Spear of Sylvia, for example, like this, and then if you press um, number two for double tap and then hold Q, it does not activate the Spear of Sylvia because it's locked. And so the if you guys lock it, you basically have to put it in a hockey in order to use it. And so that's the reason why uh, we unlock this one. And then if you do shift Q, which is also for double tap, right? But it's going to prioritize the Spear of Sylvia. And so for example, like this. So if you do shift Q, just like that. And then we use Spear of Sylvia instead of using double tap. And so that's the reason why we want to use double tap on a hockey. And so after using double tap, which is number two, and then you guys can press Q in order to activate the Spear of Sylvia. Also keep in mind, Mark Bloom used to be a spammable skill, so it was a really amazing skill to use for PvE grinding, but now it has a cooldown, and now we can't basically spam it once it's on cooldown. And so just keep that in mind, which can be very kind of downside about Archer for PvE grinding, but it still works out because you guys can still use the main skills now, like for example, using Earth Shatter, and then using Sunfall and then adding like, you know, arrow explosion after that. And if not, we can still use Full Bloom and it's still spammable for that one. Thank God. If not, Archer would have been very, very bad for PvE grinding as well. Try this combo. It's called Steady Breath and Tactical Strike. So for example, if you have a main weapon out and if you do A or D RMB, it uses the Steady Breath. However, if you do it again, it basically uses the Tactical Strike and then can give them a knockdown. So it would look something like this. Boom. So after we heal ourselves, after that, we can also even give a nice CC. And then if they get a knockdown just like that, you guys know what to do, right? Double tap. And then pressing number two, for example, and then give a second CC. And then doing some crazy combos afterwards. Try this combo. We're going to do double tap. And then we're going to use Spear or Sylvia. And then after that, just hold down R and B. Boom, boom, just like that. They also removed um, the Ravenous talent, and now it's called Echoes of the Call, which is just pressing R and B. So back in the day, we used to be able to do something with W E, and then he basically gave a melee damage. But now when we do W E, we use this something else, which is in main for melee, and it's called Gapping Darkness right here. And so he's going to use this skill when we use W E. Boom, just like that and it has a forward guard has a stiffness so it can be also a really good skill to use when they're very very close to you so what what we can do is something like this we and then pressing spacebar and then giving a stiff right and if they get stiff then you guys know what to do which is number two and give a knockdown and then do your combos after that and so on they also added a forward guard for air explosion so highly recommend using that on your pvps lots of aoe damage highly recommend it they also added forward guard for covering fire, so I highly recommend using that on your movement skills as well for your combos. That's pretty much it that has changed for Archer and then the rest you guys can still check out my part 1 video. And then I teach you guys all about some you know movement skills that you guys can use and some awakening combos as well that you guys can do and so on. But on my part 2 video, I'm going to teach you guys more combos that what we can do on the scenarios for Archers and so let's get it started. If somebody's way too close to you, try this combo. Keep in mind WE has a stiff, the Meteor Dive also has a stiff, and also the um, Piercing Cry also has a stiff, which is like this. 
if you guys hit the on the last shot. And so the strategy here is that try to get the stiffness right there. And so if you actually land on one of those followings and then you guys see them getting stiffed, now what we want to do is A or D R and B, and then keep holding it and then use the knockdown for the for CC. This is a scenario where I can get people knocked down with tactical strike. And then after that, we do a double tap combo. So there are some several knockdowns that Archer has, which is, for example, Wing Strike, which is A or D and L and B, and then on your first attack, he has a knockdown. And then after that, if you go to Awakening, we have Glissade, which is W, R, and B. And then if we hit them on our third shot, that's when they get knocked down. So that's our third right there. And then they actually got a hit, and then they can get a knockdown from them. And then we also have a Piercing Light, which is S, E. And then if we hold the ability and then cast it after that, it has a really nice knockdown as well. And so remember guys, when they get knocked down, what do we do? We basically need to use double tap right away for our second CC. So it will look something like this. As you guys can see, like full bloom and mark bloom is also like shining for knockdown. But if you guys hover it, you guys can basically know which one has a knockdown for PvP. So for this one, for example, it says PvE only for knockdown for full bloom. Same thing with Mark Bloom. He also has a stiffness on PvP, but it only has a knockdown on PvE. And so once again, QNS, if you actually land a hit, they do get a stiffness on PvP. But for PvE only, we have a knockdown. Same thing with Earth Shatter here. Shift E, it says knockback on PvP. Just like that, there's a knockback. However, it does not have a knockdown. Knockdown is only for PvE content. And so always, always keep in mind, guys, you want to use double tap when they get the first CC, for example, right? And then after that, what I teach you guys is just use double tap. And then do the combos that I basically taught you guys. So once again, if you guys land with WE, Spacebar, or LMB, and if they get a CC, this is what you guys want to do next. Steady Breath, Tactical Strike, and then after that, we want to do Shift F, and then Shift E, and then it will auto-cast the Sunfall. After that, we need the second CC, which is Double Tap on a hotkey, and then press Q. And then after that, we want to use Light Stroll, which is RMB, Shift RMB, and then hold RMB again. And then after that, if you still have time, and if they're still far, far away, try Q and S. This is a scenario with my friend. I'm basically trying to use any ability that gives a CC, and I was able to with a wing strike. And then after that, I did my double tap combo. This is another scenario for another wing strike CC when I get a land on it. Just like that, and then double tap. And then do your combos. Another scenario where I can land my CC with wing strike and then doing double tap afterwards.
as an archer player, we're going to have a scenario where we're going to get knocked down from the enemy. So what we want to do is use Mountain Breeze, which is WF, in order to get out. And another option is Judgment, which is pressing number 3, and then using your abilities afterwards. This is another scenario where I get knocked down, but then I was able to live because of using WF Mountain Breeze. And this is a scenario where I live because I use Earth's Judgment after standing up. It has a frontal guard and it kind of backs you up a little bit and so that's why it's really really nice to use on your combos. This is one of my favorite combo. Hopefully you guys can watch and learn. I will put down what the combos are like. That's it with this part 2 video, hopefully you guys learned something with more PvP's content here after rework on Archer. I really do think he has potential now on PvP, but then he did get a little bit nerfed due to Mark Bloom not being um, spammable. But it's still okay honestly, like there's a lot of abilities that you can use as an Archer player anyways. And so yeah, I hope this part 2 video kind of helped you guys learn more about the rework of Archer and then taught you guys something um, through this tutorial. Hope you guys liked it and then I'm just gonna leave this um, PvP video on and let you guys, um, you know, just check out my Archer PvPs and, you know, maybe hopefully you guys can learn something from it. And so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.